Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about Warner Brothers Discovery uh, taking an additional write-off, uh, 800 million to a billion dollars in write-offs. Uh, they're gonna get rid of Westworld from HBO Max. They're licensing them out to third-party streamers. We know Westworld's been canceled and this is, again, part of this brutal, brutal restructuring of Warner Brothers Discovery by David Zaslav and I think it's gonna get worse. Uh, Netflix is also canceling some shows now, including Warrior Nun. It was the uh, highest audience score uh, ever for a show, and uh, they're canceling it for reasons. For reasons, uh, saving money. That's that's what this is all about. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about the uh, the state of uh, tech too. That uh, tech layoffs in 2022 surpassed the Great Recession. This could could have a lot to do with these decisions that they have to keep taking write-offs, especially with streaming not doing as well as they were hoping for. It's a mess. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 282,000, almost 283,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Geeky sitting this video out. She's she's puppy sitting right now. We have another another puppy. Uh, Charlie has a little brother named Vivi, and uh, Vivi is constantly into stuff. So she's gonna have to watch him and make sure he doesn't uh, doesn't get into anything. Anyway, uh, this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter. The um, write-offs come after HBO Max pulled Westworld from the streaming service, along with other high-profile projects being canceled or axed. We know that. They've been taking write-offs, uh, you know, even when it comes to, you know, movies and TV shows that were popular, that were complete. Uh, Batgirl being the highest profile example. A lot of Cartoon Network shows getting gone, again, being a write-off, taking the content completely off of the platform. So in a securities filing on Wednesday, Warner Brothers said that it now expects to take write-offs and impairments related to content and development costs of $2.8 billion to $3.5 billion, up from $2 billion to $2.5 billion as initially projected. Warner Brothers Discovery now says its total restructuring and impairment charges related to the Warner Media Discovery merger will be between $4.1 billion and $5.3 billion, reflecting the higher content write-offs. Uh, the filing did not detail specifically what the increased impairments were tied to. However, in recent weeks, the company has canceled or pulled from its services several titles, including Love Life, Minx, Westworld, The Nevers. Uh, they canceled Wonder Woman 3, and um, James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to develop a new DC movie universe. The company said Wednesday that a number of HBO and HBO Max programs will be packaged in the new bundle to be sold, sold, to third-party free ad-supported streaming services. That includes Westworld, The Nevers, uh, F-Boy Island, hmm, Legendary, The Time Traveler's Wife, and Raised by Wolves. Um, Raised by Wolves really really uh, hit Squid King pretty hard because he loved that show, and it sounds to me like they have no intention of continuing it. They're just going to dump it onto some other streaming platform like, what, Tubi or something? Freebie? I don't know. We are incredibly proud of Westworld and the remarkable work of our cast and crew. The creators said, we're excited to have the opportunity to welcome a whole new audience to our show. I don't think you're getting any more, though. Uh, meanwhile, a number of other shows will come off the HBO Max platform, and the company is speaking with the studio partners about opportunities to further expand the reach of the shows, including but not limited to licensing series to third-party fast platforms. I think that's ad-supported. These shows include the Gordita Chronicles. I've never heard of it. Love Life. I've never heard of it. Minx. No. Nah. Made for Love. Nah. No, no idea. The company says its restructuring cost estimates are not changing at this time. It said in October those numbers could be adjusted. Uh, since completing the merger in the spring, Warner Brothers Discovery has been aggressively looking to cut costs, both through restructuring operational savings, like combining its physical footprint and condensing the number of contractors, and software providers it uses, as well as in content write-offs. The company is able to receive a tax benefit on the write-downs, though in some cases it could opt to resell some content elsewhere. Now, I don't know if they're going to uh, send any of this to Netflix because there apparently is an issue with Netflix not wanting to pay Warner Brothers for content it has licensed, like Sandman from DC Comics, uh, the word is, we did a video on this the other day, that it's taken them like two years to get paid 
Warner Brothers, they want money now. They want it now. Um, speaking of Netflix, though, they're canceling their own shows. They're canceling more shows. They're announcing more live action anime adaptations. Uh, very ill conceived, ill conceived live action anime adaptations, but canceling shows like Warrior Nun, which is a gory YA fantasy series that apparently uh, was very highly regarded, highly rated, and it didn't matter because not enough people watched it. it has a 99% audience score and a 100% score from critics. But uh, nobody, nobody watched it, I guess. So, so it gets canceled, right? Um, it says purely the data at work here. Netflix made a calculation that Warrior Nun simply did not get enough viewership for the relative cost of the CG angels and demons that had to, to do, and they canceled it. That's kind of what happened with Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, uh, you know, a lot of people watched it. It was one of the top top Netflix shows, I think, for the week that came out, but. They looked at the future and they're like, yeah, people are noping out after a couple of episodes. Uh, it's a very expensive show and it's not going to give us the return um, we want. So here are some other shows that they had canceled in the last year or so. These were shows that had quite a bit of, uh, I, I guess, an audience. They The first kill, again, these are all YA. YA. First kill, curse, babysitter's club, daybreak, spinning out, insatiable, Sabrina. Uh, I'm not okay with this. The Society, Teenage Bounty Hunters, what? The Order, Fate, The Winx Saga, The Imperfects, The Midnight Club, Bastard Son and the Devil Himself, what? And Warrior Nun, another YA show being canceled because maybe uh, maybe not enough younger people are watching Netflix. Who the hell knows? But um, yeah, you know, this is, this is not a good sign uh, all across the board. I mean, we did a video last week talking about the uh, streaming implosion, the upcoming streaming implosion. And I think this is definitely going to uh, usher in an age of cheaper content. It seems like a lot of the stuff that's getting canceled is expensive to produce a lot of science fiction, and it doesn't have a lot of return on investment. Uh, most of these shows, unless you're like a House of the Dragon or something like that. And I think we're going to get more reality shows, more documentaries, more uh, cheap content on uh, Warner and Netflix and a lot of the, uh, the stuff they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on, they're just going to dump it onto what is basically, you know, local cable TV, the uh, free ad supported streaming channels. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.